Hello doctors, good afternoon, welcome back to our classes. In today's class, we are going to deal with Upayantra. Okay, this is the topic which you will go through regarding Shalya Tantra. Already, we have given a mnemonic regarding Yantra, Shastra and all. So that you can remember easily all that names and with that mnemonic you can Reproduce very well in your examination, not forgetting even one among them. Now, we are moving the same manner regarding Upayantra. Totally, there were 25 types of Upayantra. Okay, in that you have to remember each and every one. Because in the examination point of view, there is nothing to bluff in a numbering manner. So, you have to write 1 to 25 in a clean and clear way. For that, I am giving you a mnemonic here. If you remember this, it will be easy for you to write in the examination. So, let us move into our topic. PCR, PAV. You have to remember PCR and PAV. PCR, you all know, the test name PCR was there. And PAV is the second mnemonic. These were the six. It is first set. Regarding the second set, MLA, ABN. That MLA belongs to ABN channel. Like that you have to um, frame a sentence in your mind. Okay. This completes another six. Totally, we have done with two sets. Now, third set. This is MDS, HAG. MDS, HAG. Okay. Here, you have to remember MDS and HAG. These six alphabets, it will complete a third set. Next, the fourth set is KAB SAP. Cups up. KAB SAP. This is the fifth set. Okay. First of all, PCR PAV. Okay. Second one is MLA ABN. Third one is MDS HAG. Fourth one is KAB SAP. And at the last one is V. You have to remember V as an individual one. Okay. Now, if you want a sentence manner means. I will say you. Firstly, PCR test was there. No. So that PCR, PAV. Second set will be that MLA belongs to ABN. Third set will be MDS. MD will be done in HAG. HAG. MDS, HAG. Okay. Next. Fifth one is CAPSA. KAB, SAP. And the last one. 25th one is V. Like this, you have to remember 6666. Six, six, six. Totally 4 sets. And the last one will be the V. Okay. Now. We will decode all these sets. First of all, in that PCR, P belongs to Patta, C belongs to Charma, R belongs to Raju. Patta, Charma, Raju. Okay, next. Now moving to PAV. In that, P belongs to Panipada Tala. Okay, Panipada Tala. A belongs to Antarvalkala. V belongs to Venika. Pani Pada Tala Antar Valkala Venika. Okay. Now we have done with our first set. Now move on to the second set. Here MLA. M. M will be Mudgara. L will be Lata. A will be Anguli. Okay. Mudgara, Lata and Anguli. Okay. Now move on to A, B, N. In that a will be for A will be for Ashtilasma. Okay. B will be for Bala. Bala not here. Bala. N for Naka. Okay. Ashtilasma, Bala and Naka. Okay. M D S. Here M for Mukadanta. D for M for Muka, D for Danta and S for Shaka. H A G. In that, H for Harsha, A for Ashwakantaka, J for Jihwa. Okay, now we'll, we'll move on to our last set. K, A, B, K for Kshara, A for Agni, B for Beshaja. It is the easiest thing, Kshara, Agni and Beshaja. And the last set is S, A, P, Sa. In that, S will be for Shtivana, A for Ayaskanta, P for Pravahana. Okay. Shtivana, Ayaskanta and Pravahana. And the last one, V for Vastra. Okay. 
now i will say you the meaning of these words so that it will be easy for you to remember okay and for recollection also it will helps you firstly i have given you the mnemonic secondly i have made a sentence for remembering that mnemonic third step i have decoded each and every set of our mnemonic in this fourth step i am giving you the meaning of that each and every upayantra so that it will become easiest thing for you to remember and for recollection also firstly patta we have said patta no patta means it is a bandaid a band okay patta means a band c for charma you all know charma for leather r for rajju i have said no rajju means rope next t a v in that pani pada tala you all know palm and sole regarding pani pada next antarvalkala antarvalkala means inner box inner box okay box of a tree antarvalkala next v for venika venika means a thread venika is for a thread next mla in that mudgara means a hammer which is a wooden one b for bala you all know bala will be a term which we will give for hair okay next n for nakha nakha means a nail mds in that m for muka you all know d for danta you all know s for shaka shaka for the extremities harsha harsha means happiness exhalation to make a person become happy so that we can eliminate dukha from that person it also considered as a upayantra next thing a for ashwakantaka ashwakantaka means horse bride for tying of bandana we are using a horse bridle it is considered as a upayantra jehwa means tongue k k for kshara you all know alkali a means agni for agni karma kshara for kshara karma b beshaja for giving tikshna oshada for the elimination of doshas especially beshaja will be given in that case of dushta vrana and in dushta vrana which is also a major thing which you will see in prameha diabetic food we will say no at that time this will be the useful thing okay next s for stevana stevana means spitting mukhagata shalyo dharana means the shalya which is present in your oral cavity will be eliminated with spitting it is considered as stevana which is a upayantra one among the 25 next a for ayaskanta magnet which is used for the extraction of this iron particles next pravahana pravahana means straining extract the impacted fetus the impacted fetus will be extracted by this exhalation sorry by this straining method we all say no fetus will be expelled by straining that is considered as a upayantra one among this 25 okay is it clear this is the fourth step we will see now rajju will be useful for a routine orthopedics and for fractures and for splints for in the case of fractures also in the in those days rajju rope will be used for the tying of that bandage okay rajju venika patta charma antarvalkala latha vastra ashti lashma means stone all these were used for that purpose nextly we have said each and everything beshaja in the case of dushta vrana agni par agni karma kshara par kshara karma ayaskanta for the extraction of iron particles harsha for making him happy pravahana for the extraction of the impacted fetus stevana for mukhagata shalyo dharana shaka for the removal of impacted foreign bodies ashwakantaka for the tying of bandha 
bala for the induction of vomiting in those days bala hair will be used for the induction of vomiting this was said by r sushruta acharya okay the hair bolus will be taken and we are giving that bolus into the oral cavity deep deep inside the mouth of the patient so that we thus inducing a vomiting for that person next mukha for achushana karma suction okay nakha for lekhana karma danta for daha karma mostly mukha murta pashu danta will be used murta means the dead animals danta will be used for this case of daha karma jihwa for mukha gata shalyo dharana anguli for the retraction for the squeezing we use our fingers no that will be considered as one of this upayendra so in these five steps we have given a complete details regarding upayendra so that it will be easy for you so try to listen twice or thrice this video it will be easy for you without reading you can write in your examination if you follow this video thoroughly okay thank you don't forget to like our video so that our video will reach a maximum students so that we'll provide you the best quality of our lectures don't forget to like our video subscribe to our channel share our video with your friends and juniors thank you stay tuned to our channel for more and more updates in the coming video we'll discuss the topic bhagna okay if you want any material and pdfs regarding this ayurveda any year or else for the pg preparation i'll provide you the video Be below this video the description in the description i'll give you the telegram link you can join there in that group so that you will get more updates thank you stay tuned to our channel